This is London Tonight with Natasha Kaplinsky. Hello, good evening. She was a five-year-old girl caught in the crossfire between rival gangs. Kusha Kamal Sawaran was gravely wounded in March of last year when a shootout spilled over into her uncle's shop in Stockwell. Moments before, she'd been dancing in the aisles. Now she faces the rest of her life in a wheelchair. She will never walk or dance again. A word of warning, this report from Ron K. Phillips does contain some images of the attack which you might find upsetting. This would be the very last time Tusha Kamasalwaran would dance. Within seconds, the five-year-old joins other members of her family who've rushed to the front of the shop after hearing a disturbance. Almost immediately, they all run back, but Tusha, who's been hit in the chest by a bullet, is left lying on the ground. The youngster, who'd been caught in the crossfire of a tit-for-tat gang feud, was left paralysed from the chest down and is now confined to a wheelchair. Her uncle was shot in the face. This was a gang-related incident where these three men, and I won't name them because I don't want to give them any publicity in this case, these three men went out looking to shoot another gang member. And as a result of that, these two innocent people were shot and have now got to suffer with those consequences for the rest of their lives. Nathaniel Grant, Kazim Kolewale and Anthony McCalla were caught on several cameras as they set off on their bicycles on their mission to hunt down a rival gang member. When they spotted their target, they sped after him, their faces covered by masks. The men chased their intended victim who ran for cover, taking refuge inside the shop. The first shot was fired as the men circled around on their bicycles outside. The second was fired directly into the store through the open door. While the intended targets cowered behind a fridge, Tusha was carried to the stockroom, twice going into cardiac arrest. Although both victims of this crime will never forget what happened, I hope the convictions secured today will provide some comfort to them and their family. Although she could be discharged from hospital as soon as next week, Tusha will have to wear a brace and leg splints for the rest of her life. Her dreams of being a singer and dancer shattered forever by mindless gangs fighting a meaningless turf war. Ronke Phillips, London Tonight, The Old Bailey. Driverless tube trains lower 